you guys I'm sitting here and I'm watching the over with garage conversation and Peaky Pie. A lot of you need to go check it out. It's just to me. What do you do to me? What to me a true East Coaster is all of the hoop. He does a really awesome breakdown of the freedom movement in regards to what's going on in Canada. The freedom movement is happening all around the world, you guys, no matter what country you're in. They have different events going on. That's the energy of the world. So this guy. He really breaks it down. I love it that he is telling the East Coast perspective. So, what our government here in Canada is doing now is they're going to take all the guns, but they're not. Because this is what the purpose of this tarot card reading is. God, I really like him. I met him a few times, just super brief, but he seems to just make such good readings. So I, every time I see him, I'm inspired to do a reading about what he talks about. So I already did another reading on a stone that he came across in a field that's been there on his property a while. So. This video is really interesting. If you want to, like, what's going on in Canada in the freedom movement right now is that we're all broken up. Uh, we're discombobulated and we're trying to pull ourselves back together. But the new face of the freedom movement is just kind of little localized events. There's still a lot of things going on. Nothing violent, but what he's talking about is he, people are saying this could be the tipping point. Because here in the East Coast, what's unique about us is that we're known for a place that riots, okay? We've had riots. We had riots for Rodney King. We almost had riots for Black Lives Matter, but we had a big mass murder, and that probably was the decoy away from that. Because we were pretty close. I'd seen a lot of crazy men. But during Prohibition, there was riots here, but nowhere else in Canada. So we kind of got that. A fighting energy in us. And we had a massive mass murder here that was very extreme mm -hmm. involving the police, you guys. And I asked Kurt about that, but so I always do a reading with this. So I ask, is it really going to be the tipping point? Because that's what his video is about. So from the card's perspective, that is really going to happen. And what he's saying in the video, like here in Canada, they don't even make laws anymore. They just do what they want. Okay, we're totally left out of it as the people. I thought that was something that was just going on here in the East because I noticed that right away when I moved here in 2013, the very end of 2012. So, uh, his blue eyes distracted me a little But anyway, so it does show me that they are going to punch confiscate the guns but it's going to be pretty ex extreme but they're going to offer people money so 
basically what I see, it's not going to be the tipping point that causes some sort of big fight or some big riot. People who want to give them up will give them up, and I think there's going to be a money exchange. But people want to hold on to the guns, they're going to hold on to the guns. But that is going to happen. But it is not going to be the tipping point. But I do know what it means when he talks about the tipping point. Because everybody is feeling it. He is in this video talking about how antsy people are feeling. And the police know that. Okay. And they're probably getting that lot of hate right now. I know I send a lot of hate to police every single day, guys. I am just overwhelmed with the amount of abuse here in Nova Scotia. Look. I asked what was going to be the tipping point, and I've gotten this message before, but it's going to be something pretty extreme, but it's going to be random. This is like a family, a feminine energy. I before said around the family, but if the bomb in action disaster, but we see the crown crashing down. Here, I see the crown is the government coming in and confiscating the guns. It's not the tipping point. Like I say, according to what I see, the people who want to give them up and keep them up, people want to keep them, will keep them. But it really is going to be an event that happens. But the real tipping point is coming, and that is going to be, could be a natural disaster, but I think it's some sort of bring down of the crown. So the crown represents the government as we're still under the queen. So we see a woman in here two times with the crown. We see a very gifted and very motherly, a very intuitive, a very Aquarian type of energy. She's always, she can be Pisces, she can be, well, she's uh, I'm back to the Aquarius because I see this with my star color. Your wish was coming true, but the cra trying to crash that down. Something about the government, maybe tapping the parliament, some sort of attack on the building. It's something extreme. It can be a bomb. It can be something that happens in the world family. You see a woman, something to do with the feminine energy. So I've made that prediction before, it's going to be something like that family, it's going to be the tipping point. But it's pretty extreme. Something to do with the government and the monitor. Something to do with feminine energy. I feel like a bomb. I felt that before, sort of attack, some sort of maybe scandal in the whole family that just brings the whole thing down. Something to do with women, something to do with human trafficking things, something to do with that one came out strange, so it's not that. Something, something big. And then I asked, the general energy of the East Coast, and this is the spot of freedom. This is what I say all the East Coast were witches and were warlocks with the bloodlines of people who lived by the faces of the moon. Everything down here is done by witchcraft. It's all a good naughty, it's all warlocks. You had to be a warlock of all warlocks to bring, like the Spanish Amadas here, to bring the big fleets of the Queen, fleets of different warriors came here by sea. We built the best boats in the world. 
we were the biggest cartel in the world. We tried to get the biggest pirates in the world. We did trade with Jamaica, joint prohibition, the false bottom of boats. We were the best. They were built by the faces of me. We had rich people, we had a new bunch of faces in the world that we put the sea in. And we are very extreme, very And each East Coast province has its own energy, just like all Canadian provinces. And that's how things are going for the free yeah. I was going to ask some other questions. Yeah, people have a good point in this video. Let me see if I can find from them. Well, let's see. Okay. I hear him, I don't see him. So. Anyways, I had another question that I was going to ask. I'll have to go back over the video and watch it to see what it was because something came to my mind that I felt really interesting that you said. But there you go, that's my prediction. This is true in East Coast energy. We got an extreme magnetic pull here, you guys. And many Buddhists are attracted here because of our grid lines. Uh, that's what brought the great warriors here to set up camp in Halifax. They built all the forts by the moon. They sailed here by the moon. And it's a very illuminati, Freemason, warrior, witchcraft, warlock, blood lines that our people are from here and didn't you mix with the natives and it's the pull of the moon we have the Bay of Fundy running through here and not through Front Street P.I. we all got this crazy magnetic pull that makes witchcraft super strong here peace out